So to go along with the Christmas theme, you can make your own igloo. So I have two different types of marshmallows here. I have the big ones and I have the little mini ones. So when I did this yesterday, I made a really cool igloo, but it ended up collapsing overnight. So I want to see what you guys can come up with. So you can build it however you want. Yesterday, we used toothpicks. And toothpicks can be great to hold them together. Just push them together, and they stay. But for the little ones, toothpicks can be a little, a little too big. So, you can also use glue. Using just a little bit of glue, you can make sure that they stay together pretty well. So when you're building your igloo, you can design it however you want. You can make a big base, you can make more of a castle design, or you can do the standard igloo, which is like a big dome with a door in the front. Don't forget a door. But be creative with it, and show us your designs. Post your pictures on Facebook, we definitely want to see what you come up with. The next experiment that we have is super cool, but it will require you to get a helper. So grab a sibling, or a parent, or a grandparent, or anyone that you can find and ask them for a little bit of help. So with any design that you can come up with, you're going to build a little version of Santa's sleigh. You can use cardboard, construction paper, any materials that you can find in your house. And you're going to build a little version of Santa's sleigh that we're going to put onto this balloon you're going to send it across the room. So, after you have your sleigh design, you're going to take a string, and you're going to put it across the room, or have a helper hold it, and make sure that it's about the same height all the way across. Then you're going to take a straw, and you're going to put the straw on the end of the string, and feed it all the way through. Okay, so after a little bit of effort, you're going to get the straw in there. So you take your balloon. And depending on how you designed your sleigh, it's going to have to somehow attach to the balloon. You can either use string to tie it on, or if you can glue it on, however you want to do it. But you're going to blow up the balloon. Once the balloon's inflated, you're going to attach your sleigh. However you can find works best for that, depending on the design. Then you're going to have another helper. Hold the string and the balloon so that you can tape the balloon onto the straw. All right. Once you have the balloon taped on, make sure that it's on the side. You don't want it taped to the top, because then once you let go of the bottom, it's just going to go straight up in the air. So make sure it's on the side, so when you let go of the end, it goes across the room. So, with the balloon taped on the straw, and your sleigh attached to the bottom, you're going to hold the end of the string, and let go of the end of the balloon. and it'll go across the room to your helper. See how big you can make your sleigh with the balloon still able to hold its weight. Play around with different designs and see what holds it up the best. The next activity that we have is you can make your own stocking out of paper. So, you're gonna need two sheets of paper. They can be any color you want but you can also grab some crayons or markers, anything that you have in your house to decorate them, make them look super pretty. Alright, so I'm going to cut both of these at the same time, but if you just want to cut one, 
you might want to use it as a tracer for the other paper to make it a little bit easier. But I'm just going to do two at once. With your stocking, you can make it any shape you want, but I just did a typical boot. So now that you have your shape, you're going to use glue or tape to seal the edges. Make sure that nothing can get out of it. Make sure you leave the top open so you can put things inside. And depending on how big you make your stocking, depends on how big the items are that can fit inside. Now, I didn't cover the entire outside, so when I put little items in, like beads, they're probably going to come out the bottom a little bit. So make sure you cover the entire area of the outside of your stocking with either tape or glue to make sure that none of, so it makes sure nothing inside comes out. But make it pretty. Use crayons, markers, glitter, anything you can find. Make it super pretty. We want to see what you make. The next activity that we have is probably for some of our older campers. So Find some materials around your house and figure out how to make a marshmallow catapult, or in this case, a snowball catapult. I used a clothespin and two popsicle sticks. I glue them together, so when you place a marshmallow on the end, and you pull it back, <laughs> it gets launched pretty well. It depends on how fancy you want to make it. You can make something as simple as this, and you can see the effect that it had, and you can use anything in your house. Popsicle sticks, clothespins, rubber bands. Be creative. See what you can come up with, and show us what you can make. The last activity that we have is to build your own little mini Christmas tree. So you can go ahead and find some green pipe cleaners, and whatever beads and string you want to put on it to decorate. I'm just going to bend them into the shape of a Christmas tree. Once you have a basic outline for your tree, then you can add other colors and beads and string, um, anything you want. Make it really pretty. We want to see what you can make. Alright, so that's all the activities that I have for you today, and I hope you find a couple of them that you really, really like. Don't forget, this entire week is Christmas in July, so we'll be having Bible stories and story time all throughout the week. Have fun!